Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how can you pour water down a string? As always, adult supervision is required. Well, probably not today. Anyway, what you need for this experiment is a string, a measuring cup, a cup, a water, a paper clip, or tape. The setup of this experiment is you're going to have a paper clip and you're either going to tie or just weave through a paper clip. I'm using a larger paper clip. Some kind of string that can soak up some water. Uh, so I'm just using it here. Another way is to tape it into the inside of the jar. I find the paper clip works a lot better than just kind of put it on the edge of the cup right here uh, and you'll feel it's secure. And just a second I'll show you and you can see the strings tightly in. I could have tightened it in a knot but I didn't. Then you're going to take the rest of the string and you're going to soak it in the water. So go ahead and put it all in as much as you can. Push it in and give it a little soak before you start. All right and now you're ready to begin. Now take your measuring cup and pull it up into the air and until you get it to the distance you want and then you're going to put your finger on the string and then with your left hand, your other hand, hold the cup on the bottom and slowly start pouring the measuring cup. You want the string coming out of the little dip on the tip of the measuring cup. As you slowly pour, you can see the water clinging to the side of the string going down into the cup. As you can see, it's starting to fill up. Move my fingers there so you can see. Uh, if you go a little too quick, you saw some water come out, but if you get it at the right speed, it's a little bit of an art, then it starts to go straight down the string and will go into the glass or the cup that is connected to the tape or the paper clip. All right, so the science behind this. Water has some special properties, making it a very unique substance. There are three different forces at work in this experiment, gravity, adhesion, and cohesion. Gravity pulls the water down towards the earth. Adhesion attracts the water to other objects, and cohesion attracts the water molecules to other water molecules. In this experiment, adhesion attracts the water to the string, and cohesion keeps the water flowing in a steady stream. Water molecules have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. These atoms end up having positive and negative charges, which causes them to stick to one another. This is why you see raindrops clump up together on your windshield when it rains and when it makes a stream of water when it flows down a string like in this experiment. When I soak the string in the water, the water adheres to it. Even though the water may drip out of it every once in a while, it is still soaked in there. That is adhesion. When the water is poured along it, it noticed that the water clings to the other water molecules attached to the string. If you see it form a little stream underneath the string, that's cohesion. Here in slow motion, you can see that cohesion of the water molecules hooking together on the bottom part of the string, pulling all the way down the string. You can try different distances with the strings or different kinds of strings like kite strings or thicker or thinner and see how far you can go and what you get. And then if you do, leave your uh, results in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you do, to share or to hit thumbs up below. And thanks for watching.